Good news for landlords and owners of apartment buildings, but not necessarily for renters. The average rent for an apartment in Metro Orlando continues to rise, and experts say as long as the demand keeps increasing, so will the rents. West 2's Amanda Ober has been looking into the story and joins us now with more. Amanda? Jim, if you pick up a brochure for one of the swanky new high rise apartment buildings that seem to be popping up everywhere downtown, you'll be immersed in images of luxury living. But the rental prices are not listed in here. And when you do get around to talking rent, you may be surprised at just how pricey it can be. Drive around Orlando and you'll see plenty of new apartments, some under construction, some completed and quickly signing up future tenants. What sold me was getting the wooden floors. Raina is downsizing from a rental home to an upscale apartment in Baldwin Park. She's experienced what so many looking for apartments right now are facing competition and higher rents. It costs as much as the single family home that I had with a huge yard that I'm leaving in Winter Park. So this costs as much as the house. So I was very surprised. According to the latest survey by ALN Apartment Data, the monthly rent on apartments of all sizes averaged $930 in April. That's up $40 or 4.5% over the same time last year. There's significant demands, particularly in the core market, and it's outstripping supply. Joe LaFleur is an expert on the apartment market. He says developers are scrambling to keep up with the demand. Over 5,700 new apartment units are set to be built in Metro Orlando by the end of next year. LaFleur claims until the supply once again outpaces the demand, renters should brace to pay more. So, what you're going to see as a renter is the demands from the landlords are going to continue to raise rents. And you're going to be continuing to compete with other tenants for those spaces. Now, one of those new apartment buildings downtown, Sky House, is renting one bedroom, one bath units as small as 593 square feet for over $1,400 a month. Coming up on West 2 News at 5, I'll show you that building and why some claim it's worth it. Amanda, Amanda Ober reporting West 2 News.